much practice does it take to a lot. Step like that? A lot. As director of bands at MSU, Kevin Senatol has worked many a hard day's night putting together such memorable shows for the Spartan Marching Band, like this tribute to the Beatles. And the whole staging of this, about like where the music is powerful, you want to have like your brass right here in front, and now they'll start moving. He's certainly no stranger to moving either, specifically from Ann Arbor to East Lansing. I'm okay with it. I don't know if the Wolverine people are okay with it, but I'm okay with it. Setatol is the former associate band director at U of M, where for three years he conducted the Michigan marching band, always keeping an eye, though, on his Spartan rivals down the road. We always saw the Spartan marching band as not competition, but this is a band that tried to achieve the same high level that we were achieving. And so there was a great appreciation there. An appreciation that he now shows for the Wolverines. <laughs> Especially when the bands march toward MSU U of M rivalry week. Wanting to do their very best performance for each other, it always comes down to this week. The two bands on the field at the same time is always a real treat to see. And Kevin's son Matthew has seen it from both sides as well. Tuned in even more so than dad, since he marched with both the MMB and SMB as a mellophone player. I got some flack. My <laughs> father was telling people about it before I even got here, so oh, they all, man. they all, yeah, I, they all knew who I was. I was like, great. So I had this reputation. He's like, oh, he's the kid from U of M. It was kind of a whirlwind. Uh, the formations at U of M were pretty traditional. At MSU, their pregame is a lot more uh, intricate. But no matter the march, Matthew says the memories and moments wearing his Wolverine, then Spartan band jacket, truly make him feel all right. Just like they do his father. I'm in a very unique position. I have one of both. and. So does my son. Do you still wear that? I only wear one. That's a smart thing. It happens to be green. Green, white, and now with a bit of rosy red. A fashionable fact, sure to make the wear and tear of rivalry week all the more spirited between these two talented Big Ten bands ready for the big game. In East Lansing for rivalry week, I'm Evan Pinsonold for 6 News.